Vincent's Bedroom. Vincent's Bedroom. Introduction. In 1888, an artist named Vincent van Gogh moved from Netherlands to Arles, <coughs> France. Vincent was drawn to the beauty and calm of Paris. He liked the way the light from the night stars glittered across the Rhone River and the way the sunlight glistened over the yellow wheat that grew on the rolling hills. Vincent spent most of his days outside painting pictures of the fields, sky, and sunflowers. This way, a new way to paint in the mid 1800s, as most artists up to that point had always painted inside a studio. Painting emotions. Vincent was a man of many strong feelings. At times, he felt sadder, angrier, and happier than other people, as his mind and his body churned with dis- despair and daylight. A daylight, the emotions he felt led him to create some of his greatest paintings. He used color in his own style of putting color on the canvas with a brush to show his feeling. One of his most famous paintings is called Starry Night. In Vincent's mind, the night sky above Erlis swirled with emotion. The sky felt alive to him, and he was able to capture the energy of his painting. He painted with moon and bright yellow stars twirling in, in a navy blue sky. Because Vincent's moods changed often, he understood that he needed to come and cheerful place in with. A witch to live and work, so he rented a bright yellow house and created a bedroom that would help him feel safe and calm. A <clears throat> comforting bedroom. A letter written on October eighteen eighty eight to his brother Tell Vincent described his bedroom. Well, I have painted in walls, paint violet. The ground with. Chucked, matted, the wooden bed and the chairs yellow like butter, the sheet and the pillows, the moon, pillows lemon light green, the bed spread, scarlet, colored, the window green, the ocean, orange. It was a good time for Vincent. In the morning, he painted all kinds of paintings. In the evenings, he sat in the work cafes and chatted with the people of Arles. Later in the evening, he enjoyed coming home to his comforting bedroom. A bedroom series. During the years eighteen eighty eight and eighteen eighty nine, Vincent created five versions of art showing his bedroom in Arles. The three were brightly colored oil paintings and two week sketches. The third, the three oil paintings, sometimes called the bedroom series, show us a bit of what Vincent's life was like during the time when he painted the, the pictures. Vincent was very close to his brother Tell. Tell supported Vincent's life as, as a painter. Vincent wrote many letters to Tell, explaining his paintings and telling him about his life in Erlis. Tell saved the letters, and today, eight hundred forty-seven of them can be seen and read in an online museum. In one of these letters, Vincent wrote about his bedroom and included a sketch. Vincent created a bedroom that was a simple, restful, cheery heaven. His oil paintings show some of what life was like in eighteen eighty-eight. Indoor plumbing didn't exist then, so if you look carefully at the paintings, you can see that Vincent kept water in his room for washing. He hung his clothes on hooks. Radios, televisions, and CD players had not been invented. Look at the painting. What do you think Vincent did for fun? Similar and different. Vincent painted for fun. He created more than two thousand works of art during his lifetime. Uh, in Arles, he painted many landscapes and portraits. Portraits. Each time he painted in a、uh, picture of his bedroom, he included newer paintings he hung on his walls. 
Look at the pictures hanging on the walls. How do the pictures on the bedroom walls change from painting to painting? Study the three paintings. In many ways, they are similar, but some of the details are very different. Can you name three ways in the which paintings differ? Vision painted the first painting in October 1888. The painting was damaged when the Ron River flooded the Yellow House. His brother Terry really liked the painting and encouraged Vincent to create another painting, another painting to replace the damaged one. Vincent created the second painting, second paintings in September eight hundred eighteen eighty nine. Look at the two paintings. How do the painting look pressed that Vincent was feeling? Where can you see Vincent's paintings? Many people who like art agree that the only way to tr truly see a painting is to mm, mm, truly see a painting is to stand in front of it. However, to see just a few paintings in this book, you need to travel to several cities in Europe and North North America. However, the internet created a way for people to see all. <clears throat> of Vincent's work in one place. Visit www.begallery.com to see how Vincent's painting style changed from his earliest works to his last. Year. In the summer of 1889, Vincent decided to make small versions of his pa favorite paintings. The painting of his bedroom was one of his favorites, so he painted a third version of it. The ver this version was smaller than the other two versions. It was different in other ways as well. Look at the painting in the wall. How is it different from the painting on pages 16 and 17? Colors the Snowlish Richard Van Gogh loved color. He used colors to express his feelings. He loved the colors of the sky, butter, leaves, and lights from the sun. The colors he showed, he... For his bedroom made him feel content and glad to be home. Think about how colors affect you. Do bright colors make you feel happy? Can dark colors make you feel sad? If this were your bedroom, what colors would you use to decorate it? Color these drawings to create a bedroom that would make you feel content.